everyone. So my last video was showing you guys what I packed in my suitcase to go on vacation this weekend. And I told you I would also do a video showing you what's inside of my makeup bag and what's inside of like my toiletry bags that I'm bringing and everything like that. So if you're going on a trip, I hope you enjoy this video and you get some ideas on how to pack and stuff. Um, and if you're not, I mean, I guess this might be a pointless video to you, but I hope you watch it anyway. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in my travel makeup bag first. Okay, so this is the makeup bag I have. It's just from Clinique. I got it for free with like one of their little gift sets that they do sometimes. So um, it's pretty big. As you can tell, it. I mean, I pretty much packed it so it's like jam-packed now. Um, okay, but what I do, if you can see, I put everything in little plastic baggies just to keep everything separated and organized. So the first little bag has like all of my mascaras. I have a waterproof mascara, a regular mascara. I have some eyeshadow base. I have eyeliner, lip liner. I have a couple lip glosses. I'm not bringing a whole lot of lip gloss because um, just my favorite ones. I don't want too much. And I have a little lip balm over here. Um, some gel liner, a pencil sharpener, just different things like that. A pencil for my um, eyebrows. So that's that bag and it's just, you know, whatever. And then now this bag, I'm kind of thinking about taking some stuff out. I just have some loose MAC eyeshadows in here. I couldn't decide which ones to bring, so I'm going to try to downsize a little bit and take some of them out. I just can't live without some of these, so I don't really know. Um, so I have certain looks that I like to do that are using, you know, like five different colors, and then I have another look that's using like another five colors, and I wanted some colorful ones too because it's going to be, you know, at the beach and stuff, so... Um, I don't know about this bag, but I just have some single eyeshadows. And then I have my face stuff. So I have a foundation. And I'm probably going to end up buying another foundation that's like a little bit darker. Because, I don't know, whenever I go on vacation, my foundation never matches anymore. Because, you know, you start to get a little bit tanner or red if you get sunburnt. And my normal foundation just never looks good over my newly tanned skin so I might get another shade a little bit darker before I leave I'm not sure yet but I just have some primers in here my Urban Decay D Slick I have my um, bronzer back here by NARS and I have just a loose powder that I like from CoverGirl so that's my little face um, baggie and then this just has blushes so I have my free tart blushes that I showed recently I have a neutral color one, I have a orangey corally one, and then I just have a pink one. So I figured those would cover the basis of blushes that I would need. And then I have a, um, what is this called, a mattifying powder, and then my highlighter is over here. So those are all my little makeup baggies. And then I have just my Urban Decay Naked palette, because I, I could probably just go with this palette alone and not bring my MAC eyeshadow, so I might end up doing that. But these are just very wearable for every single day, so, um, and it comes with liners, so I might not even need my liner. But, I don't know. I just like having variety. So, we'll see about that. But that is what I have in here right now. Okay, so that was everything in my makeup bag. And then I also have a matching little makeup bag that's a little bit smaller. And I just put all of my MAC brushes in here that are my favorites and the ones I use most often. And then I also put an eyelash curler. Um, I also have a pair of tweezers down in here somewhere. They're just little tweezer man tweezers. They're like little mini travel size. And then I also have some nail clippers that I just stuck in there. So those are just my brushes and tools and stuff. Okay, now moving on to my toiletry bag. So I do have a lot of products. So now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh my goodness, do you really need all that? Um, but they all fit in my suitcase, so I might as well take them. So this bag right here is basically like face stuff and my toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and show you what I have in here, I suppose. So I have this little bag. I put them in little um, smaller bags to put inside the bigger bag. And I have this little Clinique thing that I fill up with some Q-tips. And then I have these little cotton pads because I use these to put my toner on. I use them for nail polish remover. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough to last me for two weeks. So that's what's in there. And then I have another little baggie, and this just has my toothbrush, and I have two travel size toothpaste because I was just afraid that I would run out of the one because I like to brush my teeth, and I use a lot of toothpaste, and I just, I don't know. So um, I brought two just in case, you know, you never know. 
I have a little mouthwash and then I also have some floss and then of course my toothbrush which I don't know if I said that so just travel size stuff you know nothing crazy all right and then the rest of what is in here is just all skincare stuff so I have my face wash and I still haven't done a skincare routine so you guys can see like what I use and stuff I have my St. Ives, um, this is the apricot scrub for, it's like an exfoliator and I really, really need this, especially when I go on vacation because sometimes like I'll, you know, burn on my face and stuff and then it kind of peels off. So you definitely need an exfoliator in the summer or when you're at the beach or whatever um, to get rid of that dry skin that kind of happens when you peel. Okay, and then I have my Clinique moisturizer, which is my favorite. It's very lightweight. Um, it's the moisturizing gel. And then what else do I have? I have some toner. Now I have this little bottle and I filled it up with my Clinique toner because my Clinique toner is literally, it's like a giant size and there was no way I was going to put that in my suitcase. So I just poured some in this little tube thing. So yeah. And then I have some eye makeup remover. This is by Sony Kashuk. You can get it at Target. This is my favorite eye makeup remover. And then I also have some Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. So, take off all my makeup. Okay, so that was my first little toiletry bag. And then the next one is basically all of my shower stuff. Sorry, I just like moved my camera. This is all of my shower stuff. So, I have this little zipper pouch. I can get it out of here. Okay, so I have this little zipper pouch, and I put all of my shampoo and conditioner into these little tubes. I actually have two shampoos and then one conditioner. Um, because I like to switch up my shampoos and stuff. And then I have a razor, which is randomly in here. But yeah, I didn't want to cut myself reaching in the big bag. So um, I have really, really big liter size shampoo and conditioner. So I had to put them in here because there was no way those were going to fit. Um, if you're wondering, it's the Joyco K-Pack Reconstruct Shampoo and Conditioner. And then the middle one, this is a Biolage um, hydrating one. I think that's what that one is. So yeah, and then I have a little Venus razor, the Embrace. I really like and I put it in this little bag because in case it spills then it's not going to make a mess and get all over my clothes and then I also have my body wash which I was kind of skeptical about bringing because it's a really big bottle again but um, I wasn't sure how much I was going to use so I didn't want to put it into another little tube so I just brought the whole thing um, this one is really good though and I thought it would be good for summer because it's like mango and it smells so so good oh my goodness it's pomegranate and mango. Very, very good smelling, so that's that. And then I also have some Skin to Mint Shave Gel. This is the Raspberry Rain one. And then, of course, you need a loofah, so this is my crazy pink loofah. And then I brought just a little tiny bottle of Bath & Body Works lotion. I ran out of my mango one that I was obsessed with, um, but this is orange sapphire, and I thought it smelled good for summer as well, so just a little bottle of that. It's only like three ounces, so. All right, so that was everything that was in my little shower bag. And then I have one more bag, and then that is all. This is like hair products and nail products. Now, I have my favorite hair products. I had to narrow it down to my three favorites. Or actually, I think I stuck four in here. Um, this one I have to use every single day or else my hair just feels gross. So it's the Joyco K-Pack Reconstruct Liquid Reconstructor. Which looks like this. And I spray this on my hair as soon as I get out of the shower. Or I squeeze out the water and then I spray this in my hair. Um, I really, really need this. And especially when I'm going to be out in the sun or in water, that's that helps like repair your hair. It's really, really good. And then I have to have this one as well. It's the Redken Satin Wear Blow Dry Lotion. I have to use this before I blow dry my hair, otherwise I just feel like I'm killing my hair. So this is a protectant for that. And then again, I have to have this one. It's the um, It's 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. And this just basically helps my hair. Like It does all these crazy things. And this is also serving as my um, heat protectant so before I like curl my hair or something I use this and then the last thing it was just a little bottle so I figured I'd bring it it's a sea salt texturizing spray by Aquage and I like to do this if I don't feel like doing my hair like whatsoever so say I want to get out of the shower and just spray that in my hair and then I don't have to dry it I don't have to do anything I just let it dry naturally and um, it makes it kind of beachy waves so 
I brought that. And then I also have a wide tooth comb to comb my hair once I get out of the shower or if I get out of the pool or something like that. You need a wide tooth comb so you don't break your hair. I also have a little comb like this in case I want to like tease my hair or whatever. I don't really know what I do with these, but I guess if I want to tease it. And then I have just my normal hairbrush um, to blow dry my hair or just brush it, whatever. This is my favorite hairbrush. And then I also have this brush. Now this is a necessity for when I'm curling my hair. Now, if you guys can tell, like, I don't know. I don't want hairspray in my curls. They're not very, like, you know, those spirally curls that you see, like, for prom and stuff like that. Um, no, I don't do structured curls. Once I curl my hair, I basically just brush all the curls out. But in order to do that, I find that a boar bristle brush works the best for that. So that's what I have. It doesn't have to be a round brush, but just any brush that has boar bristles. And then you can just brush through your hair, and it makes it like soft, touchable curls. So that is my secret, just so you guys know. Um, which I will do a hair tutorial, but this is like a necessity for what I do to curl my hair. Alright, and then the last couple things in here and then I'm done. I know this video is kind of like, it's like I'm talking about all my favorite products, but then I'm like showing you, I don't know, it's weird. Okay, so I have some nail polish remover. This is just a little one, and I'm actually like halfway out, so whatever. Um, I probably won't even be painting my nails that much, but I don't know, I'm prepared in case I want to. And then I just brought um, four different nail polishes, so I brought some like blues and greens, and then a coral, and then a hot pink. And then this is a little OPI top coat. I didn't bring a base coat because I don't always use a base coat. But yeah, I just brought Essie ones because they are smaller bottles and then they I could fit more. So yeah. Alright, well that was all of my little toiletry bags, travel bags, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I am taking a lot, but what can I say? I am a girly girl and I need all of my stuff. I hope this helped you guys if you are going on a trip and you need to know how to pack or if you just want some ideas. I hope this helped you out and if you're not traveling, I hope you enjoyed this anyway. And I just thank you guys so, so much for watching and I want to let you know I'm going to try to film while I'm down in Florida. I'm going to bring my camera and everything. I hope I have Wi-Fi or something so that I can upload my videos. Um, but if I do kind of slack a little bit, just realize that I am on vacation and I don't mean to slack. I just got to do what I got to do. But I will try to get videos up still for you guys because I've been on a roll lately and I'm really proud. So I'm going to try to keep doing them. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope you have a great, great day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.